Terrence here is about to, Mr. Porter, is about to put me through a little fitness routine and I'm glad. So what I want to say is, the thing that happened was is that once I started getting a little thick, these boots started happening, and I do not want to lose the body that I have right now, but I'm also not working out to my optimal performance to keep everything together. So he's going to help me figure it out. So I was telling the audience, uh -huh. when I started getting fluffier, I gained maybe 20 pounds. Fluffy. Fluffy. <laughs> I'm fluffier right now, 20 pounds. I'm normally at anywhere between 152. Okay. My lowest is 144, and I love it. Okay. I'm 167 right now. 167? Yeah. Okay. So what had happened was my boobs started getting big. <laughs> I mean, that's not a bad thing. I like though. it I mean, a lot. I like how I look naked. Yeah. So, do you, well, when you, what, what, what can we do with the body that I love right now? Because I, I, this is new for me. I, okay. I want to keep this body, but I, I need to tone it up. My stomach is definitely getting a little bit yeah. on the plump side. I'm sucking this bitch in right now. So, what do you do? Lift. And I, just lift it. I tell them lift heavy, lift heavy often. And move away from the cardio. Move away from the cardio because it's going to make your skin soft. So mm. it's not like, you can still do cardio. There's nothing wrong with it. But lifting is going to make your body tighter, make you look better. You're going to feel stronger. And every man loves a strong woman. Every man does love a strong woman. Yeah. So let me see. Yeah. Let me see how strong I am. Yeah. Let's see what you got. Let me see you squat. Okay. Uh-oh. She's in there now. I mean, how long has it been? Um, maybe a week and a half ago. Week and a half, all okay. right. So just do a few one, just give me like a, a quick 10. Nice set of 10, smooth. Uh-oh, she break 90? Close to the Baja? That's the grass, yeah. I think that was 10. That was good, all right. that was good. All right. That was a nice clean set. Thank you. Good job on that. <laughs> but see, you did back, you did back squats, right? So I'm doing front squats. Which is like right there. So that here. means the bar is gonna be in front of me, yeah. And that hurts for me. Yeah, Ooh, that was tiring because yeah. I was trying to do it perfect. Let me get my warm up set. Right. All right. First and foremost, tell me about this gym, like. Wow. Being here. Hardcore. Hardcore. Hardcore gym. Hardcore gym. This is not like every other gym. This is not like. No, this is not a global gym. This is not a global gym. No. How did you find this gym? And do you have somebody helping you right now to reach your optimal performance for your competition? I, well, I used to work out at Powerhouse in the Bronx. Okay. And uh, one of my, you know, people who I used to work out with, he told me about this gym. And I was like, see what's up. So one day, you know, I called him, I asked him, you know, where you guys located? He told me Mount Vernon, so he's like, you can take the Metro North. Lo and behold, I basically live 20 minutes away from here. Not bad. So it was a hop, skip, and a jump. So when I got here, I was like, oh, I'm in here. On average, how much time are you in the gym? In this gym or in all in gym? In this gym, and then we'll go to all I would say like maybe three times, three times a week. Three times a week, but how yeah. many hours? Three hours. Three hours. Yeah. Three hours of your life. Yeah. Just Good. getting strong. That's it. That's all I want to do is get strong. Strong as fuck. I don't strong know if I can fuck. say that. Yeah, you can say I don't fuck know. Strong shit. Strong fuck. I just want to be strong. We're gonna be saying a lot of stuff <laughs> that deals with fucking a little bit later. So you spend three hours here. You still have your work life. Yeah. You work at a fitness center. Yeah, I work at uh, Crunch. You work at Crunch. Yeah. How often are you there? All the time. All the time? Yeah, all the time. So some days, like, I do lifts over there. Some days I do lifts here. So I like to, you know, I mix it up depending on my schedule. Usually I come here in the afternoon, work out, and then go to work later on. How many of hours of sleep are you getting? Because sleep is essential. <laughs> Resting. Oh, uh, that's a good question. I came probably like six. That's it? Yeah, I don't, I'm not a good sleeper. That's one of my, I like to nap. I'm a nap guy. You're a napper. I'm a napper, yeah. So do you ever feel tired as fuck, like you can't push uh, through? 
once in a while, but I make sure, like, I'll take a nap before I come work out. Okay. And then once I do that, eat some food, I'll be all right. I'll be all right. right on it. So, speaking of food, should we do another set, or should we talk yeah, about food? Yeah, we gotta put some weight on here. So, um, we gotta put some weight on Let me see, let's, start, let's get you with a 25. All right, whatever yeah. you feel like is yeah. best. Let's put a 25. 25, that's a lot. <laughs> what makes me sad a, a yeah. bit to, to say is I, I, my highest weight that I was able to squat when I was maybe 20, 23. Uh -huh. I'm, I'm away from that. Uh, it was 155. 155? Squatted 155. That's not bad. That's so, not bad. It was anywhere between 155 and 165 with the bar and all that I included. Okay. And I haven't been able to get back there. Why is that? When I put my weight up, I start feeling it in my lower back. Okay. So, and I think I'm a little bit more nervous. I need someone there to spot me. You need a spot. See, I'm, I'm the worst guy to spot because I'll let you die. You'll let someone let die. Not, not like die. Not, not die, die. I'll make you feel it. But like shaking. <laughs> like... I'll make you feel it. I'll spot you though, but I'll make you feel it. All right. All right. Thanks before I do that. All Thanks right. for right. letting me know. <laughs> here we go. Oh, man. All right, let's make sure this is on here, right? Oh, God. Right? Don't be scared. Not so much. <laughs> Just keep doing the same form you did last time. That's it. Woo! It's heavy, Is it a little heavy? <laughs> How you feeling about this? Give me a good, give me five. Let's <laughs> go five. I'm right here. Come on. <laughs> oh, shit. Let me know. Come on, go up. Are you distracting me? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I'll just, back up a little bit. Is, I'm, I want to see. Back up just a little bit. Is yeah. that good? All right, all right, yeah. all right. Good. Uh, you don't need a spot. You got it. You don't need a spot. She can be scared of what? I don't know. All right, everyone. That, that, was, very, that was impressive. That was very impressive. Not weak. I don't just take nice photos. Okay? <laughs> oh, my gosh. I like how that feels, though. You, that was, you didn't need me for a spot. I don't... I don't understand no, why, No, I said but. when I'm trying to get to a heavier weight. Well, you made it seem like it was heavy. I used to heavy. have 245 plates on each side, uh -huh. a 25, and maybe a 5. Okay. So you I was like... Go, you used to, you used to go hard. And I was way smaller as well. I was 138 pounds. 138. But I, I, I worked my way. It took me three months to get there. Okay. Constantly, like what you're doing. Yeah. You're working yourself Work myself. to have... Maximum strength. Maximum. So let's see your light work here. This is light work. Oh, yeah. This is a slow. <laughs> we still warming up, too. So. Oh, my God. We're still warming up. <laughs> Would you like to go up? Yeah, we could do it. All Whatever. right. All right. I ain't going to be able to walk tomorrow, but that's <laughs> your fault. That's the goal, right? I, I don't think so, but whatever. I, I don't think so. <laughs> so, we could go up five pounds? Five. All right. You're, that's what we call smart lifting. Smart, I'm being smart very smart lifting. about it. Or ego, no ego lifting. We don't ego oh lift. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what does it take for you to this life? What is your diet like? Because everyone could assume that it's the cleanest eating habits in the world, but you're trying to, you're trying to fuel up. Yeah, I like to eat. I'm a, I'm a fat kid at heart. Fat kid? Yeah. Good looking fat kid, everybody. Thank you. Oh, fat kids look great. We love thank you. Thank you, thank you. All right, so tell um, me about your diet. Basically, I eat, you know, stand rice, chicken, fish, vegetables, same thing over and over again. Oatmeal okay. in the morning. I'll do six to eight egg whites three whole eggs, and just keep eating that constantly. And then when it gets close to competition time, I'll cut back on carbs, gallon of water a day. Same old stuff. Just Why do you cut back on carbs? Because now I'm asking that because most strong men are some of the most largest looking men with yeah. like mass. Yeah, those are, the, those are the super heavyweights. Super heavyweights. Super and heavyweights, yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, they're not, they're not rating you, or you correct me if I'm wrong, they're not, um, counting points or doing totals based on your physique, right? No, nah, that's like, not body. This isn't bodybuilding. It's basically weightlifting. everything, weightlifting, everything depends on what events it is, like to a minute, 
sometimes max distance, sometimes max, you know, go for a max. Um, it's, it's like a, it's just a quick interval, but heavy. Yeah, heavy. The speed, the speed is, is the well, it's the more about the time, like, for like a whole weekend event, the tops you're going to work is four minutes, but it's like up there of like what you're going to be doing, like. You know, so wow. you're going to be working pretty hard within those four minutes. You're going to feel that. <laughs> All right. Yeah. And now I'm about to feel this. Yeah. You got this. Just give me five. You got it. You're strong, see? You can do more than that, though. Relax. <laughs> I also have to breathe. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> the cardio will kick in. You, you said it right. This is also cardio. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Some people don't understand that weightlifting is a big form of cardio. It is. It is. It's like... How do you explain it to your clients when you're trying to give them more weight than putting them on an elliptical for about 30 minutes? Say that again? How do you explain to your clients uh -huh. that this is cardio as well instead of putting them on the elliptical for like 20 or 30 minutes? Uh, I just tell them like strength training in general is going to get you Cardiovascular, strong. It's just gonna, it's gonna tax your body. It's gonna work your nervous system. It's gonna change your body, your body chemistry, your makeup, and it's good. And it's good. working out on a treadmill is boring. You know. But when it comes to cardio, do you still need to do the standard getting on the treadmill or getting on the step mill, which is one of my favorites? I love the step mill. Step mill is okay. I mean. To warm up. To warm up. You guys warm up, but don't make it your whole workout. How long? Don't, don't make is, it your whole workout. How long don't. is a warm up? Ten minutes. Ten minutes on the step now. Ten minutes is good, and then just get right into weight work, lifting weights. You know, put some weight on. <laughs> That's part of your workout too. I can see. <laughs> You're putting me to work, everyone. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so flip the flip the plate. Oh, that's fine. You need the clips? Yeah, we can clip it. All right. Woo. I'm still warming up too. This is <laughs> this is still a warm up. This is a warm up. Really push through and to gain your like optimal performance. Uh, a little mix of both. Mix of both, of course. Mix of both. Uh, especially with strong men, we lift heavy weight <laughs> often, so you need a little mix of both. Now, one thing when it comes to doing everything you do, a lot of trainers, a lot of people in fitness, don't take involvement in the art of stretching. How often are you stretching? People just like bypass stretching. Do you stretch? Do you spend a good amount of time? Uh, uh -oh. I do from time. I do, but I don't. I could spend more time. But yeah, stretching is very important. Okay. Because you don't want to, you don't want to tear anything. You know, you don't want to hurt yourself while you're working out. Because once that happens, it's like the world is over. World is you over. can't, you can't live for a few weeks to a month or whatever. You know, you injury that you got. That. Yeah, you yeah, yeah. Crazy. That happened to me before. Um, I was actually doing front squats, uh -oh. and uh, I dropped the bar on my wrist, so I can't, I can't really bend my wrist back. When did this happen? Is this happened great? in 2012 when I was doing CrossFit. 2012. Yeah, so it wasn't too long ago. I was out for a good three months, three or four months, stressed out. <laughs> Right, and now stressed you're back. Out. Now I'm back. You're back. Better than ever. Why do people bypass stretching so much, though? It's they just boring. feel like it's, you know. it's boring. <laughs> it's boring. Boring as fuck. You can't but put on some good track music and just stretch it out? I mean, nah, you can't even. It's just boring. Can twerk video? Just be like. <laughs> I should try that. I should try, try that. looking videos. at a twerk video. There you go. I'm here to help. I, I might not help me though, but <laughs> <laughs> I might be distracted or something okay. else. <laughs> Just thinking about it. Yeah. All so right. you gonna do another set? What are we doing? Oh, here? it's my turn. Yeah, Damn. it's your turn. Yeah. I thought he forgot. That's good. Y'all seeing? I'm tired. I'm really working. 
like I said, the strong man competition deals with mental. So we got physical, we got endurance, we got speed, we got mental. And a lot of people get unencouraged. They're not encouraged. They just let this stuff go to shit. And no matter how you look or how strong you are, it's about health. So that's why this is super important to me. Being healthy, being around the right people. Terrence is one of them, so you'll be able to go to his Instagram and see what he does and connect with him if you feel inspired about this workout. Cause I'm feeling pretty good. I don't know.